Hey everybody, this is Games here, and welcome back to part 3 of Undertale. So, you guys are probably wondering, where is Mod Quest? Mod Quest was supposed to be, well, it was supposed to be last week, but I said I would do it this week, and I still haven't done it. Well, I was busy again on Friday, and I kind of decided that since Mod Quest takes, like, it's going to be a series that takes a lot of time for one episode, or a little bit of time anyway, like, I can't do it in one day like I'm going to with this video. I, I can't do Mod Quest in one day. Uh, it takes a while, a little while to record it. So because of that, it's not going to be every other week necessarily. It's going to be only um, on every other week when I can do it. Like only if I have time and the last video was a gaming video. So hopefully next week I'll be able to get that done. I think, I think there's Labor Day weekend, so I should have some extra time. And uh, yeah, so guys, last time we uh, we battled Toriel and uh, we won. We get to leave the ruins now, but it was a, it was a very emotional, very emotional time. So now we gotta leave through the through the um we gotta leave the ruins. We're gonna we're gonna come through here. I wonder what we're still gonna be in the underground, but what's outside of the ruins? That's that's the real question. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. <laughs> I bet you feel really great. Oh my gosh, this, this voice acting is terrible. Sorry. Sorry, guys. You didn't kill anybody this time. Um, but what will you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die, and you'll die, and you'll die. Until you tire of trying. What will you do then? Will you kill out of frustration? Or will you give up entirely on this world? And let me inherit the power to control it? I am the prince of this world's future. Don't worry, my little monarch. My plan isn't regicide. This is so much more interesting. <laughs> Creepiest flower ever. Alright, let's go. I would join the Flowey fan club. Flowey's pretty cool. I mean, he's, he's pretty creepy at times, but he's pretty, he's, he's, he's pretty cool. Undertale by Toby Fox. Now that we've finished the tutorial, it's time for the real game to begin. There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Where are we? Wait, what? Oh, it just pushed me down. That's cool. I didn't know it did that. Alright, let's walk around. We gotta walk through here. Oh, there's some nice big trees. What, what's this? It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. Alright. What was that? The branch is snapped. Guys, I think someone might be following us. Okay. I saw someone. Someone was back here. What? What's going on? Someone's following me, guys. Guys, we're being followed. What's happening? Here he comes. Who is this? Human. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. That was an interesting noise. <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on the watch for humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My brother made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. That's a really conveniently shaped lamp. Sup, bro? 
You know what's up, brother. It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then I, the great papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the royal guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> hmm. Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. <laughs> Sans! Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. <laughs> Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself down to the bone. <laughs> ah, I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> Heh. Okay, you can come out now. You want to get going, he might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well, what are these? It's just some piles of snow. Alright. Just a conveniently shaped lamp. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Alright. Actually, hey, hate to bother ya, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother has been kinda down lately. He's never seen a human before, and seeing you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. How's he gonna be up ahead if he went back there? Ooh, ah, uh, so snowy. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Save. What's this? This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Oh uh, yeah, let's use the box. Let's see, all we have on us are a stick and butterscotch pie. Oh? Snow Drake flutters forth. Alright. Let's... let's joke. You make a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Dude, just chill out. So sorry. <laughs> Snowdrink is assessing the crowd. Alright, let's laugh. You laugh at Snowdrink before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Um, I thought he was going to make a joke. I thought I was going to laugh at Snowdrink is, is practicing its next pun. He made a bad ice pun. I've heard that one. Alright, wait, so that's not what we need to do. Whoops. 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 Alright. No Drake is assessing the crowd. Alright. No Drake. Uh, this teen comedian fights to keep a captive audience. Bites you in cold blood. Ha 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 ha. That was very funny. Now that he's made a pun, let's laugh. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Better not. Oh, I missed it. Snow something. I pressed the wrong button. Alright. Snow Drake is smiling at its own head joke. Alright, let's laugh. You laugh at Snow Drake's pun. See? Laughs. Dad was wrong. <laughs> Whoa. Snowdrake is pleased with its cool joke. Alright, now we can spare him. What's up here? Ooh. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Uh, yeah. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Uh, actually, we still have our phone on us. Let's see. You can call Toriel. I like. Nobody picked up. Alright. Let's head over here. So, as I was saying about Undyne... Uh, actually, I 
think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is... is that a human? Yes. Oh my god! Sans, I finally did it! Undyne will... I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular! 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 <laughs> At him. Human, you shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then, then, I'm not sure what's next. <clears throat> In any case, continue only if you dare. <laughs> well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. <laughs> Thank you, scenes. So guys, comment down below. Are you Team Papyrus or Team Sans? Which one is your favorite? Ice Cap struts into view. Let's, uh, let's compliment him. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. And he's too bad. Oh man, these are, these are, oh, jeez. I actually messed up. Ice Cap is thinking about a certain article of clothing. Compliment. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Duh, who doesn't know? Oh no. Alright. Here comes that new clothes smell. How about we ignore his hat? You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. Hello, my hat's up here. Uh oh. Don't get hit. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Let's uh let's not look at its hat. You continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems to feed better a uh, hatter than a hater. That, that is, like, the best philosophy ever. Ice Cap is desperate for attention. <laughs> but it won't be for me. What's this? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this, you ponder? I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. No, not yet a famous royal guardsman. Alright. <laughs> bet it was Papyrus. Absolutely no moving. Alright, so we can't move past here. What's this? But let's just... Oh. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Ooh. Doggo blocks the way. Let's, let's pet him. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. This is the blue attacks. You can't move the blue attacks. Doggo can't seem to find anything. Let's try and pet him. You pet Doggo. What? I've been pet. Pet, pot, pet, 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 pot, pot. Doggo has been pet. Uh, oh, we can spare him now. That was pretty easy. Alright. Something pet me. Something that isn't b b moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. <laughs> That's a thing. Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, I think about blue stop signs. Alright, whoa, whoa, we can't stop moving, guys. The ice, like, slips us over. Let's go get over to the sign. Let's see what's up here. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, snowed in town, and ice. <laughs> so there's ice everywhere. Oh, look, it's a snowman guy. Hello, I'm a snowman. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please, take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Yes. Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece I gave you. Ah, uh, doing great. All right. Go on, come over here. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh, uh -huh, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, 
The orb will administer a hearty sap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. Oh! Sans, what did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Oh wow, he threw that really, really high in the air and it still landed on me. Okay, try now. So... I don't know, how about here? Ow, 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 ow. Alright, we gotta, we gotta follow his footprints. Incredible! You slippery snail! You salt it so easily! Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. <laughs> Yo, Sans, what's up? Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keeps calling it his battle body. Man. Is my brother cool? Alright, let's come over here. Look, it's the nice cream guy. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh, a customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. N now just 15 gold. Alright, oh, we have a lot of gold. We can get some. Here you go. Have a super duper day. We got the nice cream. Let's get another one. Nice cream. It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now just 15 gold. Let's get another one. Here you go. Have a super duper day. Got the nice cream. Let's, let's get one more. Alright. We should be good for now, then. Oh, let's cross this bridge. And then, oh, we gotta... Let's try and get this into the into the hole at the bottom. I know how this works. It's like, it's like a golf thing or something. You gotta get the snowball into the hole. Oh my gosh, this is really hard. Before the snowball shrinks. Oh yeah, it's definitely shrinking now. No, 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 no. No, alright. Whatever, we don't actually have to do that puzzle. What's this? I've been thinking about selling treats, too. I want, want some fried snow. Just 15 gold. Yeah, why not? Did I say 5 gold? I meant 50 gold. Why not? Really? How about 5,000 gold? Oh, no. I have to pay for the raw material somehow. <laughs> What's this? Smell danger rating. Snow smell. Snow ban. White rating can become yellow rating. Unspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. Alright, wait. Wait a second. But the the word green is in red. I think that's a joke because uh, dogs are colorblind. Yeah, that's that's pretty funny. It's, it's, that, 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 that gives me chuckles. Alright. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. What is this? Monster Kids Word Search. I see. Hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? We gotta, we gotta find all these words. Hmm. How about... no. Sans, that didn't do anything! Whoops. I knew I, I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. What? Really, dude? That that easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder, Jumble or Crossword? Uh, I'm gonna go with Crossword. You two are weird. Crosswords are so easy. It's the same solution every time. I just fill in all the boxes with the letter Z. Because every time I look at a crossword, all I can do is snore. <laughs> Papyrus finds difficulty in interesting places. Yesterday he got stumped trying to solve the horoscope. <laughs> I just think that joke's hilarious. You can't solve a horoscope. What's this? It's a note from Papyrus. Yo, man, please enjoy the spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it 
that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. They're thoroughly japed again by the great papyrus. <laughs> papyrus. Alright, what's this? It's a plate of frozen spaghetti. It's so cold, it's stuck to the table. So we can't eat that then. But look. It's a little, it's a, it's a little mouse. I, I don't know why I make cat noises. It's a mouse. It's an unplugged microwave. All of the settings say spaghetti. <laughs> Knowing the, mice, the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti, it fills you with determination. Alright guys, I'm going to end this episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, please go ahead, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and you're excited for part 4. Again, I'm sorry there was no mod quest today. And uh, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Okay, bye!